That's a Redmond PD pursuit and suspects are considered armed and dangerous. Copy westbound headed state back towards 156 on Northeast State. Okay guys, so I've already set up my Model 2 emulator and it looks something like this. With, so what you're going to do next is open this emulator.ini and here uh, just uh, select the proper ROM path which I have already have. It will be different for in your case. Um, set the desired screen resolution, whatever, whatever screen resolution you're using for the games. Um, uh, desired aspect ratio I prefer to play the model 2 games in their native aspect ratio which is 4 by 3 once you're done with this the most important thing what you're going to do next is set use raw input equals to 0 you have to keep uh, this value to 0 don't keep this to 1 else it, this won't work save your file which I'm doing that and uh, close this window Next, sync your V mode to your Dolphin May flash bar in mode 2. Now you have to remember this. Since you have synced your V mode to your May flash bar in mode 2, your V mode will act as a Windows mouse. Uh, so face your um, V mode away from the May flash Dolphin bar for now. Because if you use your Windows mouse and the V mode is facing towards the Dolphin bar, there will be a conflict so that you can use your Windows mouse. So now I'm using my Windows mouse. What you're going to do is uh, enter into this folder Demule Shooter. From here you will go in, uh, you'll double click this file dsdiag.exe. Once you've double clicked it, now this is where you have to follow me carefully. List of bunch of devices in the select device drop down tab. And from here you have to uh, click and check each device. One of these devices is actually your remote. So for example if I click this with my mouse that uh, the device type is rim underscore type mouse mouse and uh, the product is me flash dolphin bar and the number of buttons is five. So this this information is a giveaway that this is most likely my remote but in order to further confirm it now I pick your remote facing towards your sensor and see when I'm moving uh, my remote across the screen you can see the red target crosshair which means that this device is my remote this is how you uh, track and find device ID for your remote and also you can kind of see the number of my device ID it is uh, HID uh, VID and there is this whole long string so just kind of note a few initials in the start like for example uh, for this thing 378D44C and the N number 1405DD so this is sort of your VMOTE ID this is how I've tracked it you'll use the same process to find your VMOTE too and it'd be a slightly different uh, device ID so when, if once you've noted it close this now you'll open your Demule Shooter GUI and since I've already done this ahead of time if you notice this is 0079-37DE44C uh, so most likely this is my Wiimote 1 so I'll click this with the mouse and I'll pick up my Wiimote 1 and I'll move it across the screen as you can see the plus sign within the device preview box is moving so th this is my Wiimote 1 so now it's time that I will uh, find the device ID for the second VMOTE so that I can uh, set the second VMOTE ID to Player 2 configuration. So I'm going to click here, select Player 2 configuration, reach out, uh, reach out for my VMOTE at the same time, click with my mouse, search for the device ID which I think is going to be VMOTE 2's ID 
and I've uh, picked my Vimo 2 up and move it across the screen as, as you can see in the device preview box the plus sign is moving which means that this is indeed my second Vmote device ID and uh, you can also check a few buttons if I press the B button the trigger button on the Vmote it is designated by one as you can see it has uh, lit up in color green and if I press the A button on my Vmote that is three which means this is the correct Vmote if I put my second Vmote down and pick up my Vmote 1 which has already, be, already been assigned to player 1 and if I try to move the cursor so as you can see within the device preview box the plus sign does not move further confirming that it is indeed Vmote 2 that has been set for the player 2 configuration I place down both Vmotes reach out for my mouse and click on the save config button configuration saved okay here's an optional step if, or if you want to use custom crosshairs for your model to light gun shooter games just click here go to m2 emulator click here install m2 crosshair scripts choose your desired location for me it's here click OK and see it says scripts installed now you can assign the uh, buttons on your keyboard I've done 7 and 8 so that I can cycle through uh, different crosshair styles and I can set uh, crosshair visibility if I don't want to play with any crosshair I can assign a key to it and uh, I prefer to disable the white flash while shooting because it gives a strobing effect done just cross it create a bat file for your model to games and these bat files will be game specific as an example I'll show you I have created two bat files one for virtual cop 2 and one for house of the command lines in the description of my video as well so that you can use them so for example for virtual cop 2 this is the command line that all you have to do is just open your text editor notepad wordpad whatever copy paste this line uh, save it as dot bat file for house of the dead as you can see it's the same command line but only there's the differences in the ROM name here it's the house of the dead okay guys once you're done creating these bat files for their respective games so just double click to launch them for example if you want to play virtual cop 2 so double click on this bat file as you can see the bat file has been loaded minimize it now you can proceed to make uh, configuration and settings in your model 2 emulator now it's time that you open your model 2 emulator Dub I'm double clicking on this and make sure the first thing you have to make sure is that in the video section keep auto switch to full screen off and this is ticked off now you go to emulator click on load ROM and choose a game of your choice so for example we'll go with Virtual Cop 2 double click this and then go to game and configure controls now once you're here we are going to set our start and coin buttons temporarily on the keyboard we can later assign these buttons on our Vmode because these start and coin buttons will be used to line up your crosshairs perfectly in the uh, test menu of the emulator towards player one uh, player one start button to a digit one on the keyboard for player one coin I've set to five on the keyboard likewise for player two I set uh, the, the player to start to uh, number two on the keyboard and for coin two I've set six on the keyboard service button is F1 and the test button is F2 because now we will enter the test menu once we have configured this close this test menu on our keyboard so let's do this 
now we are inside the test menu so I use the service key to cycle through the options I select the gun setting option and I select the gun mark and as you can see it's completely off we are going to now manually adjust that clear one gun manual adjustment enter and now I will select this add X-Men and you're going to use player one a button and player two button to decrease and increase the value so add X-Men is left of your screen so I'm going to use decrease uh, which is player to start and see it has started to line up so we have lined this up pretty good now I'll change the axis to add Y min which is the vertical axis at top so it's pretty much good add X max it's here uh, player one start button decrease so now we'll select the last axis which is add X max Y uh, we need a little bit of fine tuning pretty good to go it's pretty much good so this has lined up very nicely actually so we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to exit this we'll use the exact same method to set up your player to a gun mark we'll exit this and exit the emulator properly to save the test menu settings and calibration So now as you can see that our demo shooter bat file is loaded. I'll proceed to boot a ROM and in this case Virtual Cop 2. Now here I go and I'll show you how to assign the player one start and coin buttons on my Wiimote. So I hit the configure controls. I've already done this but uh, I'll show you how to do it again. Double click this and hit the left D-pad on your Wiimote one. So I've assigned it as you can see now it says left so for player one coin I keep it on up d-pad for remote one so I double click this on my mouse and then I hit up and there you go that's how you have assigned player one start and player one coin you can you will do the same for player two player two start would be the right d-pad and player two coin would be down d-pad this is how you'll assign the start and coins buttons on your Wiimote. Fill some coins. And now I'll start the game. Let's pick this. I'll show you I will cycle through various uh, crosshair styles, which is already assigned on my keyboard key number seven. See the crosshair has changed. I'll press again and it has cycled to a different style of crosshair. I will cycle this again to a different style of crosshair. Again, I've changed the crosshair style. So we have reached the end of this tutorial video. It's a bit detailed in nature, but most importantly, covers the entire spectrum of getting the most out of your Wiimotes and light guns, as this tutorial applies to both for most of the part. If you have any queries, please do not hesitate to ask them in the comments section.
Do check out the video's description for some useful links. And if you like content like this, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's time you dust off those remotes and light guns and put them to good use. Keep shooting guys. Explore those zombies to smithereens. This is RK, signing off.